Good morning, all of you. In the last period, we have finished the topic number one for the mathematical physics. Uh, in that topic, first of all, we have to study about that is differentiation, differentiation and ordinary differential equation. Differentiation and ordinary differential equation. This topic we have completed. After that, uh, one more important topic in the secondary BSc physics that is a statistical basis and classical statistics. Statistical basis and classical statistics is the very important topic. Uh, today we are going to discuss here. First of all, we have to know uh, about the statistics. What is statistics? Introduction. In the introduction, first of all, we have to discuss statistics. Statistics. Statistics ही एक असी ब्रांच आहे कि जा ब्रांच मदे लापन मराठी मदे संख्या शास्त्रा समंतो संख्या शास्त्रा मदे कशे सा अभ्यास केला जातो It is one of the branch of science In that we have to study uh, In that we have to deal with the collection uh, Classification and tabulation In that we have to study about collection Collection, classification, and tabulation. Means we have to consider some data we have to collect it that can be classified, and after that we have to tabulate uh, tabulation of a numerical data as tabulation of numerical data this is generally done in the statistics collection classification tabulation of the numerical data and after that we have to consider that is the as the basis of a description and a comparison of various phenomena Basis. Statistics mode collection, classification, tabulation of numerical data as the basis is the description and comparison of various phenomena. This is first of all we have statistics in that collection of the data, numerical data, classification and tabulation can be done. And basis is the description of the com description and comparison of a various phenomena. Description and comparison of the various phenomena. And when statistical concepts are applied to the physics, the branch is come to Statistical concept Then branch is this concept are applied to the physics then branch is comes to a statistical physics then it is called as what? Statistical physics. This is the Bhutik Shasaramadhi Vegulaya Brahmsa Apana Abhyas Karto. Mathematical physics we have studied. Classical mechanics is one of the branch. Statistical physics is another branch. In this topic we have to study about statistical basis and classical statistics. Statistics he ek sankhya shastra chhi 
अशी ब्रांच आहे की ज्या ब्रांच मध्ये कलेक्शन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डाटा क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द डाटा एंड टेबुलेशन इन द फॉर्म टेबुलेशन एंड दिस डाटा वी हैव टू स्टडी बाय यूजिंग द स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड एज द बेसिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड कंपैरिजन ऑफ फेनोमेना एंड दिस स्टैटिस्टिकल कांसेप्ट्स आर अप्लाइड टू द फिजिक्स देन दिस ब्रांच इज मर्ज टू द स्टैटिस्टिकल फिजिक्स आई होप यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड that is statistical physics what is statistical physics the branch of science so statistics is the branch of statistics is the branch of science which deals with the collection classification tabulation of numerical data as the basis is describe comparison of various phenomena in the statistical this statistical concept when when these statistical concepts are applied to the physics then this branch is merged into the statistical physics this is the introductory part and after that we have to consider uh, when the uh, physical uh, system is a contain a number of uh, particles like electrons when physical system consists of number of particle like electrons or what you have to consider that is a uh, photons and due to that that they can be solved Uh, statistical mechanics and then maxwell boltzmann gibbs are the uh, number of uh, different types of statistical concept uh, by jim maxwell boltzmann and gibbs apply statistical methods by using the physics maxwell is one of the scientist gibbs the other more and boltzmann they can be apply this concept to the statistics and then this branch is comes to the statistical physics and the methods uh, are known as the classical statistics or maxwell boltzmann statistics and these methods that is mb or mb means maxwell boltzmann statistics or what you have to consider that is gibbs and these applied concept are comes to the classical statistics this is uh, introductory part you have to consider here समझ ले सर्वांना स्टॅटिस्टिकल फिजिक्स म्हणजे काय स्टॅटिस्टिकल फिजिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ सायन्स व्हिच डील्स विथ कलेक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन एंड टेबुलेशन ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल डाटा एज द बेसिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड कंपॅरिजन ऑफ वेरियस फेनोमिना एंड व्हेन दिस वेरियस फेनोमिनाज आर अप्लाइड टू द applied to the statistical concept and then these bonds are merged to the uh, uh, physics and that physics is called as what a statistical physics and this statistical physics we have to uh, study a number of scientists by by that is say maxwell boltzmann gibbs then uh, also maxwell and boltzmann and gibbs they are applied a statistical methods by using the classical physics maxwell boltzmann and gibbs applied statistical method to study the classical physics and these methods are known as classical statistics maxwell boltzmann and gibbs applied these method to statistical the uh, applied these method uh, maxwell boltzmann and uh, gibbs uh, applied these method methods by using classical physics applied these method by using classical Physics. So it is called as what a by using classical physics, and these methods are known as classical statistics.
Maxwell Boltzmann and Gibbs applied this method to the classical physics. And these methods are called as classical statistics. Chapter two now is statistics, statistical basis and classical statistics. Statistics is the branch of science which deals with the study of collection, classification, tabulation and numerical data as the basis is the description and comparison of various phenomena. Description and comparison of various phenomena, uh, phenomena and that is applied to the statistical concept. That is, uh, statistical concept applied to the physics and that is that branch moves to the statistical physics. And when this data can be studied by using by uh, some the, some data we have studied by uh, Maxwell, Boltzmann, and Gibbs, they are applied to this method for the classical physics, and these methods are known as the classical statistics. This is the introductory part we have to consider here. After that. First important article Probability We are familiar uh, about this topic in mathematics from school level to 11th standard one more mathematics topic is uh, probability we have already studied a uh, very familiar topic and all of you have to know about the probability in the probability first of all we have to define what is probability the probability means probability of event means the number of cases in which event occurs. Probability of event is equals to number of cases in which event occur divided by total number of cases total number of cases probability of an event is defined as the ratio of number of cases in which event occurs to the total number of cases. This is the definition we have to consider. The probability of an event may be defined as the ratio of number of cases in which event occurs. Definition. How it can be right? The probability of event is defined as the ratio of number of cases in which event occurs to the total number of cases to the total number of cases. This is the definition we have to consider for the probability. Now let us consider one more example for the probability. That is, uh, suppose event uh, can happen x ways and fails in the y ways. Some event we have to consider that can be happen in x ways and fails in y ways. At that time, then the probability of happening event Happening is what? X upon X plus Y. Number of cases are X and Y. And probability of happening event is considered as say X. And the failing event is considered as say Y. So probability of failing event. Is equals to Y upon X plus Y. Basically we have to consider the sure probability is 1 and 
impossible probability is considered as what? Zero. And then we have to say that probability is lies in between. Zero is less than P is less than say one. Means when the event is sure at that time probability it must be one. We have to say that here x plus y represent the number of equal likely possible ways and probability of sure event is said to be one so that and impossible events uh, is equals to say zero probability of random randomly lies between zero and one probability is Sometimes multiple choice question may be asked on that. Probability is lies randomly probabilities lies between 0 and 1. Means 0 is less than or equal to P is less than or equal to 1. This is the case we have to consider. A probability is lies. I think we have to know what is probability. Probability of an event is defined as the ratio of number of cases in which event occur divided by total number of cases this is the definition of probability when we have to consider a two events a first is say happening event is considered as say, x and failing event is considered as say, y happening event is considered as x and failing event is considered as y so the probability of happening event is x upon x plus y and failing event is considered as say, y upon x plus y means we have to say that probability is always lies in between say 0 and 1 means a sure event having probability is 1 and failing event is considered as impossible event is considered as say 0 so we have to consider the probability is lies in between 0 is less than p is less than say less than or equal to say 1 this can be explained in the following experiment we have to consider some experiment Let us consider a coin. First experiment we have to consider a throwing coin. Let us see here we have a coin and this coin having a two sides. At one side there is head and another side there is a tail. Head and tail. When we have to consider a coin is a tossed at that time we have to consider that is coin is tossed what will happen that it may be occur head or tail let us see here uh, head may be occur at that time we have to consider say that is the first case when coin is tossed either head or tail is upward thus event occurs in a total two ways when Coin is tossed. Coin is tossed. We have to consider here the either head or tail. Either head or tail may be occur upward. Either head or tail can coming upward. Either head or tail can come upward. Thus, event occur is a total two ways. Event occur is two ways. Means we have number of cases in which event occur divided by total number of cases event occurs in a two ways first of all we have to consider probability may be uh, probability of head probability of head is equals to what is the formula 
नंबर ऑफ केसेस इन विच इवेंट ऑफकर्स द फर्स्ट हेड मे बी ऑफकर्स वन सो हियर वी आर राइट वन एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस आर वॉट एट वन साइड देर इज हेड एंड एट अदर साइड देर इज अ टेल सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड इज वन बाय टू Similarly, we have to say that a probability of tell is also considered as probability of tell is one by two. Head having probability is one by two, and tell having probability is also one by two. This is the condition we have to consider. Any time we have to coin is a toss upward. coin is toss throwing upward and it is falling at that time it may be head or it may be tail the happening event happening event means number of cases in which event occur is the only one it may be head either head or either tail so it is one and how many events total number of events or total number of cases is say 2 so p is equals to 1 by 2 and head having probability is 1 by 2 also tail having probability is say 1 by 2 it is 1 by 2 is nothing but say 0.5 or it is say 50% 50 50 consider in the percentage that is the probability of say coin now let us consider another example throwing dice experiment number 2 dice we know the dice this is we have to consider a dice and dice having a how many faces here it having six faces 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and here dice having a dots at this side one one dot at the top there is two at the at this side there is three three this is two dots three dots and here we have to consider say uh, four dots and then five dots and lastly we have a uh, six dots means we have a die is throwing upward and it may be a fall and then the chances of coming a one we have to find that is chances of coming one when it can be thrown at that time it may be one it may be two it may be three it may be four it may be five or it may be six means we have dice or cube having a six faces with dots 1 to 6 and here six dots that is 1 to 6 dice having six dots that is 1 to 6 from 1 to 6 when we have a dice is a thrown possible outcomes that is s of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 it may be one dot it may be two dot it may be three dot it may be four dot it may be five dot it may be six dot when dice can be thrown a possible outcome may be 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 then we have to find the probability of uh, one face uh, probability of any one face with a number say 3 probability of any one face any number we have to consider say what is the probability of 1 is 1 by 
what is the probability of 2? 2 by 6. Sorry, sorry. It, is, it may be also 1 by 6. The probability of probability on any one phase, probability of any on the board, probability of any one phase, probability of any one phase with number 3 to come up. is equal to again we have number of cases in which event occurs ya die over the teen half of the a catch way is a number of cases in the number of event number of cases in which event occur three may becomes at one times and what is the possibility or total number of cases are say six so the probability of this is considered as a one by six probability of 3 may comes up it is the having probability say 1 by 6 the probability of dice coming with odd number for odd number how many odd numbers are there odd numbers are 1 comma 3 comma 5 means probability is equal to what that is 3 probability of odd number odd number is equal to what? 1, 2, 3 3 are the odd number so it is considered as 3 by 6 and that is equal to say 1 by 2 probability of odd number is considered as say 3 by 6 also we have to consider say for even number probability Probability of even number. What are the even numbers? That is 2, 4, 6. How many outcomes here? That is say 3. And 3 by 6, again it is equals to say 1 by 2 means probability of even number is also 1 by 2 probability of odd number is say 1 by 2 because in a dice there are 3 even numbers and 3 odd numbers so probability of even number is 1 by 2 probability of odd number is also considered as say 1 by 2 another example you have to consider a probability of dice coming up with any number less than 6 any number less than 6 what is the probability probability of any number less than 6 less than 6 kitty number I had these are the numbers, 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, probability of any number less than 6, that is equals to, number less than 6, that is equals to 5 by 6. 5 by 6, probability of any number less than 6, having probability is 5 by 6. Probability of any number less than 3, what is the probability we have to consider? 2 by 6. Then probability of any number less than 5, that is 4 by 6. In this way, we have to find the probability of any number. I think we have to understand the probability. What is the definition of probability? The first of all, probability is defined as the ratio of number of cases in which event occur divided by total number of cases this is the definition and then we have to consider the example that is happening event is considered as x and falling event is considered as the y here the weights is considered as a two weights and then we have to consider happening is x upon x plus y and failing is y upon y plus y 
sure event having probability is 1 and impossible event having probability is 0. Means we have to say that randomly probability lies in between 0 and 1. So the case for that is 0 is less than say p, less than or equal to p or less than or equal to say 1. Means we have to consider the exp some experiment we have to done by using uh, coin and dice. We know the very popular example of this say coin, coin having one head and one what we have to say that say tell. This is we have to consider as a head and another is considered as a say tell. And when coin is tossed at that time what is the probability of head comes that is say one. So happening event is considered as say one. And number of events are considered as say number of cases here that is say two head or tail. So the probability of a coin is considered as one by two. It may be head occurs that is one by two. It may be tail occurs it is one by two. And dice having a how many faces? That is dice having a, a six faces. Each face we have to mark a one dot. Means we have to say that each face mark with one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot, five dot, and six dot. And then after that we have to throw in a die as what is the probability of a 3 may comes up that is say 1. So 1 by 6 is the probability of a 3 may comes up and when what is the probability of odd number on the dice if there are 3 odd numbers 1, 3 and 5. So the probability of this is 3 by 6 so it is 1 by 2 similar for the odd numbers and even numbers even numbers are 2, 4 and 6. So probability is also 1 by 2 and what is the probability of number less than 6? Less than 6 are how many numbers? That is say 5 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the probability is considered as 5 by 6. This is the case. I hope you have to understand all the um, conditions for the probability and the experiment of the dice and the throne. You have to perform yourself, experiment and do how it can be, event can be occurs. Okay. Thank you. Write down all the things.